Hello there. I'm very excited to announce that Code Layers is now available for 100% of people in the Figma Sites beta. What are Code Layers? Let's take a look. So over here, we have this design that we want to make more interactive. And the cool thing about Code Layers, think about them as, as Figma Make, but right within Figma Sites, is I can click this button and I can say, make code from design. And what this does, it's going to take my Figma layers and it's going to convert them into code. Now the code I can just edit by hand, alone or with a friend, or I can just chat and ask it to make some changes. So here I say, every time I click, make this sticker appear where I clicked. But I don't have to wait for the AI to finish to, to do something else. The cool thing is I can just close this. It's going to keep running in the background, duplicate this, double click again, and try out something else. I could say, follow my mouse cursor with the sticker. And the thing that we really wanted to allow you to do is to, is to make a mess and explore and riff. So a couple of things I did earlier, the first one here follows the scroll position of the entire web page. The second one creates these duplications. We have this kind of like bigger animation, or here it follows my cursor, and down here it creates these duplications. If we zoom to this one and we, we, we click on this and select it, we can see that the sticker size and the animation duration is editable with easy to use props. I can bind variables to those. And if I take a look here, uh, the sticker now is much more smaller. I don't, I don't like this. It changes back to the big sticker. And then if we go back here, this is now back to being the big sticker. And I, I, I like this. Let's copy this over and let's actually paste this into our design and move this to the top. So let's take a look at the whole web page. So over here, we have these stickers that are now popping in whenever I click on them. Down here on this one, I asked it to generate an effect that kind of like highlights the closer I am with the cursor. Down here, this one is a little carousel with some of those animations uh, of the flowers that, that I would like to sell in my shop here. And down here, this, this interactive counter actually is an instance of a code component that I created so I can have one functional element, but reuse it across my entire page with different properties on the instances. So here I have 65, and here let's say we'll amp this up to like 5,000. So now it updated this, and if I update this again in the website here, we can see that now it counts up to 5,000 in the same time as all the others do. And if I wanted to make changes here, I would just edit the main component. But lastly, I think the value of code layers is it makes the whole capabilities of the web available to you. Here I created this little component that I just asked it to explode some flowers while I'm typing. So let's take a look. So yeah, this was really fun to create. I really just like created some elements and then turned them into code and then made them interactive with AI. And we're hopeful that you have as much fun as we do using these things and we can't wait to see what you'll create with those. Thank you so much. Bye.